Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. We are currently escorting a caravan. There we are. And we'll be heading from our little... Uh, well, I wouldn't say little, but we'll be heading from Leiderstead over here to... All the way to Fardegard over there. And for some reason, the game just does not want me to look away from this caravan. We'll be paid 260 crowns when we get there. Really an infected wound? Uh, get some rest. I think a little bit of company here. Doing alright? Yeah. Not great, but... Could be worse. At least we have some money. Should be able to earn some more. Ooh. We're a mercenary company. No, it's just reasonably quiet. Like, it's alright with me. We we pay our people 80 crowns per day. If we could just make it there without any trouble, we'll have like 180 profit. Cool. Yeah, everything seems to be going smoothly. No brigands on the horizon, nothing. Cool. It's a... It's a pretty good mission, yeah. I'm happy. Vardegard, what can we do for you? We gained 260 crowns and Vardegard is now well supplied. I'm very happy. Cool. You have any missions? No, you're owned by the nobility. Well, fair enough. You're well supplied? Well, we don't care. We'll be heading uh, back to Unheim. Why not? We'll see what is up over there. We'll travel throughout the night. We're out of tools, which is not great. We'd like some more of those. Just look at us flying across the terrain. Roads are pretty helpful, I'll be honest. Let's see, Unheim, what can you do for me? You've got a two-star mission. Well, what's it about? Mm, you need this crate delivered to Whitehall. How many crimes are we talking about? Look. You know what, fine. I'll take your offer. It's 160 crowns, which is nothing. They've got really cheap tools here, apparently. I'll buy one? I know, it's good. I'll buy two. We've got a job to do, so we'll get paid once we get to Whitehall. Uh, they do have some Militia Spears. I wouldn't mind getting my hand on some of those. But we're good for now. Uh, do we hire anyone else? Good Niels, a wildman. He's got his own spear, but he costs a thousand. Ugh. Gerhard over here is a day tailor, and Vinrik the Mauler, but no. Not very good. Uh, Super Sergeant, I should probably load, lighten your load a little bit. Yeah, that's alright. See anything else? No, let's just get moving, I guess. We've got plenty of provisions for now. So we need to be able to we need to move all the way over to Whitehall. We'll just follow the roads, see if we find any brigands. Oh, the Red Legion's here. Free mercenary company. Fair enough. I think traveling along the roads is slightly faster than just crossing the countryside. Besides, we might find something that uh, needs raiding or not. How's everyone's equipment? It's looking good. Okay, can we repair you anything? Oh, all right click sets you to be repaired. I like it. We're gonna fix that helmet up. As Lord knows, that helmet could use some fixer up in. Hey, Felsheim, do you have any missions by chance? You do. Ambush trade routes, interesting. Well, it's a two-star mission. I'm not too happy about that. I don't think we're at the point where we can really take those yet, but... We seem to be able to deliver this... Cargo pretty easily. It's not the most glorious of missions, but hey, it's gonna earn us some pay. Take it your journey went well? Spare him the details, inquire about your pay. Ah, sellsword through and through. Alvar, get this man what he deserves. 
Money. Achievement unlocked, making friends. Well, hello then. Let's see what this is about. Gerald of Waitel's men are standing around a bit of cargo. Need to take this all the way to Lomberg. Lomberg. That should be over to our right. Let's talk money. Really? A bit more pay? You guys are cheapskates. I'll take it because it's the only thing we can do at the moment. It will spoil in eight days. Any food worth buying? Not really. What's the difference between like this ammo and this ammo? I don't think there is. I mean, yeah, if it's gonna be like very discounted, sure. Uh, food here is very expensive though. Bit of a shame. They do have a lot of hunting bows and hunting hats. Ugh. I should get some better armor for my archers before they get sniped in a single hit. I can't really afford it though. I would love a bow, but again, out of money. Oh, that hunting bow. Very tempting. 40 to 60 damage, range of 7 tiles. It doesn't give an accuracy bonus, sadly. Oh well. Check the tavern quickly. So apparently, the woods around here are full of animals, and in return you get better archers here, or something. From what I understand. But a cripple here? The only swift thing about, his, about a cripple is his affected demise in a real battle. <laughs> that is so terribly dark, I love it. I mean, it makes sense, like, why would you hire a cripple? Yeah, Lomberg's just down the road. I mean... If we're going to be traveling, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world to do. It earns us a bit of pay. Allows us to buy a couple of things. Hopefully the provisions here will be a bit cheaper as well. You've got a herbalist grove. Pig farm. I mean, these missions are pretty easy. Leave it at your feet. I'll come and get it. Just ask about the pay. <laughs> See that he gets what he deserves. Yes! This place has recently been raided. Ooh. Then, again, people are still high spirits. Marketplace, we're probably not going to be able to find many things really cheaply because, you know, it's been raided. I do need some food at some point, though. Starting to run rather low. Well, we've got two days of food, fair enough. A one-star contract. You wait for Hendrik to come someone to explain what he needs your service. Were you contemplating how silent and eerie the whole settlement was when you arrived? This place is cursed by the gods and haunted by unearthly beasts. They come in the night with glowing red eyes and take lives at their whim. Most of our cattle is dead and I fear that once there are no more, we are next to be torn apart. The other day we sent our strongest lads out to find and kill the beasts, but we haven't heard of them since. Follow the tracks and hunt down and kill those creatures so that we can live in peace again. We are not wealthy, but all chipped in to pay for your services. 60 crowns in advance, 240 more when the job is done. We need a bit more. 70 to 60. That is a good deal. 330 crowns to try and kill some beasties. Everything here is so expensive though. I really need more food. But we'll set out. We'll go and chase down some tracks here. Along the way, you come across a man kneeling over a thoroughly destroyed dog. You take a knee next to him. Did the beast do this? He shakes no. Hell, I did this. Finally. Damn thing ain't gonna keep me up anymore. Just then, a hut across the way opens up and a man sprints out of it screaming. Is that my damn dog, you son of a bitch? The dog killer quickly stands up. The beasts! They visited again last night. You quietly leave the dispute where the dog lies. Aww. That's so sad, though. Oh, crap. Noxerers? Uh, sure. That seems to be what we're here to fight, but I have no idea what that is. 
best I can tell, it must be some sort of ancient Germanic, like, folklore thing, I don't know. They move quickly. At least quick enough. Fast enough to warrant me worrying about it, frankly. Uh, snap off some quick shots. Ooh, that was a very good one. Balon's gonna fall back quite far. We'll put up a spear wall. That always works. Yeah, um, the rest of them can't really do that. James, I'll have you wait. Aha! Pierces our muscle. They keep trying! Spear wall! It's pretty good! Roderick has been able to hold his ground there for a while. Some of them are already considering breaking, which is interesting. I mean, that definitely helps. Yeah. Do we charge them? I think it's a bit too early to charge them. That said, screw it. They don't seem that strong. Which I'm totally okay with. Oh uh, yeah, let's try and shoot... You, yeah. People are confident. We rally! Hit him with the pokey sticks! There we go, excellent. Give him a nice little poke as well. Yeah, they are... Not happy. Is one way to put it. They're all wavering, already. I mean, sure, James took a few hits there, but... Will I be able to hit him? I don't think it's worth risking at this point, to be honest. We'll try that, I guess. Uh, you don't really have any shots either from there. However, I'll just move you. Sadly, Firefan still has a uh, cut arm sinew, so he doesn't nearly do as much damage as he should. We kill one of the foul creatures, though. That's always nice. Another one bites the dust. We quickly march up. They are fully routing, probably. I mean, they will now. Come back here, you son of a... Run them down! Oh. It actually shows you a little, like, you can't do this if you move over there. That's interesting. I hadn't seen that before. Balon! This is up to you, buddy. I'm pretty sure we don't have the potential to catch him. I'd love to, don't get me wrong. I need to run this bastard down before he gets away. Bloody creatures of the night. Roderick! Go forth! He runs fast. Very fast, in fact. We're able to... Ooh, Hail Mary did not work. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. We're going to try, because it's a bloody job to. But honestly, we came out of that pretty darn well. We've got a lot of loot, by the look of things. A lot of teeth. <laughs> Get back here, you creature! Not able to shoot him. Fair enough. Uh, you need to reload. He's gonna slow you down. Oh, Firefan is injured. Oh yeah, he's got the infected wound still. Not great. But our people are confident. 10% extra melee skill seems to be a rewarding the... Uh the party that does well, which to be fair is exactly like how battles work. Sadly, this guy did manage to slip away. We did murder most of his friends. Super Sarge, Balon, Firefan, and Roderick all went level up. We got three Jacket Fangs worth a hundred crowns each. 
fight over, you walk to a dead Nocturne and take a knee. Were it not for its gait of ill-shapen teeth, you could easily fit your head in the chest in the beast's oversized maw. Instead of admiring the dental failures at hand, you instead take out a knife and saw its head off, ripping through a very tough outer layer of skin before, surprisingly, easily cutting through the muscles and tendons. You raise the head up and order the Eagles of Fortune follow suit. Henrik the Councilman will be expecting some proof after all. Back to Lomberg we go. That was a really quick chase mission. And we actually did fairly bloody well. Super Sarge. Level 3. Range skill, range defense. And initiative. Very nice. So you're level 3 now. You've got two perks. We've got the second row open, we can inflict 20% additional damage. We can reduce the pen uh, penalty to hit chance when shooting at a target you have no clear line of sight to. Which is pretty nice. I can give you dodge. Your initiative is like 116. Now, I did, did some reading. Initiative drops by the maximum fatigue penalty you have, so you don't want them in heavy armor. You don't want them carrying a lot of hatchets either. But basically, as soon as they get fatigued, their initiative is going to go down. And dodge will become less useful. Uh, you won't really need resolve much. You won't need hold out, hopefully. Nor steel brow. I might give you quick hands at some point. For now, it's either going to be something like... Um, what would be good for an archer? Recover, maybe? Wouldn't be a bad one. Colossus is hit points, which you don't really need. Uh, fast adaptation might help with range. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. It would be nice. Uh, we're, we're just gonna go for Bullseye, because you're, a, you're an archer. Firefan, the wolf. Level up your attacky, your defensey. And resolve. Might not be bad. Might also be a, not a bad idea to keep you alive. So we'll go fatigue so you can do shield walls and stuff longer. And more attacks. Uh, dodge? I mean, you've got a pretty decent, like, thing. So it would help you stay alive in the early uh, phases of the battle longer. Wound. Oh god, your hit points are lower. Your fatigue is also lower. I'm really tempted to give you Colossus. It's gonna give you 25% extra hit points, which should be like 15 hit points. Also reducing the chance to sustain debilitating injuries. Like having a cut arm sinew. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that over fast adaptation. Because spears already have a 20% chance to hit bonus. Because of the whole thrust weapon. Which is pretty nice. Roderick! First level up, eh? Yeah, you can see the stars clearly like working in our favor here. One melee defense or four range defense? Obviously range defense. Good part of our shield wall. Maximum fatigue up and health. There you go, you won't die as quickly now. And student. Ballon. Uh, yeah, we're gonna build you into a ranger, if this is to be believed. That's it, we'll give you, like, melee skill as well. Maximum fatigue to let you fire more often. And student of the art of war. Beautiful. I like a fire fan almost looks like a Roman centurion, except for, like, the... The blotched gambeson he's wearing. If he had some sort of mail, yeah, it would totally sell for, like, uh... An old Roman soldier, that would be great. Uh, how's that helmet doing, actually? It's at 53. Cool. It's gonna be useful soon. That'll be great. Let's get back to Lomberg and let's get paid. Good. You bring the Nuxera head back to Henrik, who stares at it for a long time. That reminds me of someone. I can't quite put my finger on it, and I'm not sure I should. Excuse me, Selsword. 
I borrow your time without paying for it. Servant, give this man his money. A successful hunt. So it's still raided. It's not going to be very good to buy things in. Bandages are cheaper, though. That bow is actually really well priced. What if we head back up road? We should be able to find something decent there. And actually, a good bow as well. I'll buy the smoked ham. We need provisions. I would very much like it for uh, our other archer to have a good bow as well. Starting to run out of medical supplies, which is a troubling thought. We have money though, which is always nice. Our upkeep of the company is going up, but hey, our people are becoming more useful. Our old hands will become more and more valuable as time goes on. What are you doing? Are you doing anything bad? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Again, wild man. Hmm. Marketplace. You've got that good bow. It's worth 300. You know what? Yeah, sh we're gonna shill. Give me a quiver of arrows. We've got some decent head armor here as well. Thick tunic. Maximum fatigue goes down by two. Linen tunics. Aprons. Huh. No, we, we can't afford anything else right now. Not unless I sell these teeth, these ragged, jagged fangs. I'm gonna try selling them at uh, Norberg. Should have enough for one day. We will outfit the company. I'll give the uh, the hunting bow to Super Sarge. He's gonna be able to do better things with it. Still has a range of seven tiles. Maximum fatigue does go up a little bit. But the damage is at least guaranteed 10 points higher. And it's like identical in other matters. Balon! Get rid of that useless thing. I mean, sure, it might do a lot of damage against armored people, but you won't have many shots and you can't do aimed attacks either. Which is a problem. I found. I'd rather have the ability to launch multiple arrows. Oh. You find a kid with a, wearing a rather opulent chain around his neck. It is so heavy his head is bent forward. But that minor struggle doesn't wipe the mile-wide grin off his face. Fire find a wolf pushes the kid down and takes the necklace. Where'd you get this? The kid cries out, trying to grab his treasure back, but he's about three feet and a good jump too short. Hey, that's mine. Give it back, mister. Another kid comes over flashing a ring so large it's pinching two fingers at once. All right, that's enough. The company fans out and eventually finds a dead merchant in some tall grass beside a tree line. His face is purpled and jagged with broken bones. It appears he's been stoned to death. A group of about 40 or 50 youngsters appears from the tree line each juggling a stone in hand. Their leader, a little runt with red hair and sleeves of tattoos, asks what you want. You tell him that you'll be taking the merchant's goods. The leader laughs. Oi, is that so? I'll give you 10 seconds to rethink that choice, oi. That I will, mister. No, we're taking them. Ooh. Despite the miniature military force arrayed before you, the goods are ordered to be taken. The little tyke in charge of this operation screams a war cry of more dying cats than diving hawk. Take them down! Throw! 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 On his command, the mob of children start hurling stones from the tree line. The cell swords band together, holding shields up in a formation akin to a tortoise, and slowly move forward. It's a strange effort, like a shell game artist sliding his cup over the ball. But the company manages to grab the merchant's good and slide away out of the field, all the while while being pelted from every which way. The little leader kit shakes his fist at you. You give him the finger and start back onto the path where you take a good look at the merchant's goods. Roderick the Militiaman stares at the rewards while rubbing a welt on his forehead. God damn, man. I've seen armies not nearly so fierce. I weep for the future men who have to cross swords with those lads and lasses. We gain a singet ring. 132 crowns. We suffer a total of four injuries. Those little bastards really gave it to us there. 
But we have a senior ring, which is worth a lot of money. I mean, yeah, we've got a fractured hand, less ranged and melee skill. So you're not going to be able to hit anyone for a while. I mean, you don't have a spear at the moment either, so, yeah. Firefan just took another injury. Dislocated shoulder, minus three action points. Oh, God. Balon has got fractured ribs. He's got 30% minus maximum fatigue. And, yeah. Not looking too great. Jesus Christ. Bloody kids, man. We're gonna level two contract. Now. I'm not gonna take that at the moment. We're too injured. Worth 200. You wanna ask me 356? Can you go and stuff that somewhere where the sun doesn't shine? I'm tempted to buy the leather tunic though. We'll buy the tunic, head down to Norberg, and uh, we'll try and equip Balon. There we go, that's, that's going to make you a bit more survivable, rather. You don't have enough hit points on your own, really. Oh, we got a full Akaton cap as well. Where did that come from? Oh, I'll take it. The Ancient Household Helmet is fully repaired. Excellent. I think we'll repair you as well, just to have that shield fixed. All our stuff's in good order, except for this bow, which will get sorted out soon enough. Looking pretty good. Uh, James, you deserve a full Akaton cap. Uh, Roderick, you'll be fine for now. That said, we do have that extra helmet now. We have enough money for one day, but we won't be able to make it to Norberg, where we will be able to trade a little bit. Got a brewery, pig farm. Hopefully they'll have some cheap, like, medical supplies. The company is running awfully low on those. Let's see. 375! My god, you extortionist bastards! Roots and berries, he overcharges nearly double. Can you go and sit on something sharp, please? Dear Lord, extortionist, I tell you. Uh, we're gonna sell you, 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 and you, so we are rich now. Relatively speaking. Yeah, these guys are just overcharging. Screw that. And that bike. I really want that pike, but it's so expensive. Uh, we can sell the tattered sackcloth by now. We'll even sell this one. Get a little bit of money. Got a quiver of bolts. We're going to keep that because the light crossbow is pretty useful. Weaponsmithy. You just sell good things. We don't. We can't afford good things. That's the problem. No. Resist. Is this the urge? We'll head down to Somersholm, see if they have any work. Although it's probably another noble place. So, not likely. We have to keep an eye on the road as well. Well, you know, the path. Brigands, maybe, about. Yep, yeah, still locked. Damn it. You do have war dogs here. Love. Oh, you've got armor, don't you? Aw, I've got a falcon as well. Can be released in battle to re uh, to discover hidden prey. Oh, that's so cool. These guys have got a lot of leather tunics. A bunch of aprons. Look, I need non-like overcharging medical supplies. You. Haggling bastards. Where do we go? Because this is getting hairy at this point. I don't have work. We could check out Felsheim and see what their, like, two-star thing is. That said, I am very worried about our current state here. We've got fractured hands. 
dislocated shoulders, cut arm sinews, fractured ribs, all because of some darn kids. If we can get some non too overpriced medical supplies, yeah, it'll be, have been worth it. Problem is, we don't have those right now. Let's see, do we have any... 357, come on! Buy the ground grains, because it's some provisions that are not too expensive. We're not going to go broke with those, thankfully. The tunic, that cloth, nothing great. Uh, yeah, we're out of medical supplies now. <sighs> oh, I forgot to check your mission, didn't I? Two-star mission, a brigand ambush. God, uh, what are you prepared to pay for their safety? 640 crowns. 650. I accept. Yeah, that is a large sum of money. We have to go over there. Okay. We don't have a time limit, which is good. I need medical supplies. Now. And then I need to hopefully be able to lock my way into winning that without losing too horribly. There are animals around, apparently. Interesting. There's a Fletcher here. Oh. The Warbows, of course he does. Way too overpriced for us. Heavy crossbows? Ooh. With a crank, they can propel bolts over medium distances. Effective against heavily armored targets. 50% of damage ignores armor, wow. Yeah, we just have a light crossbow, dear lord, man. You've got good, you've got good things, but we just can't afford them. Yeah, that's not useful to me whatsoever. I, mean, I like women too, but you know. Ooh, sergeant, retired soldier. Their resolve's not easy broken, however, age may have taken a toll on their physical attributes. Yeah, we can't afford anyone. Especially now that we're gonna go broke for a while longer. Your medical supplies are too expensive. Dire wolves. Their pelts may fetch a nice price for us. Okay, bye. These dire wolves. Didn't want to fight you anyway. Man, they are super aggro, aren't they? Oh, there they are. Hello! I would like to talk to you about the glory of our archers. Engage! No idea where they are! Oh, that helps. James, shield wall, you adrenaline loving guy. Okay, they're they're gonna cause issues for Super Sarge. That said, we can get someone to stand right there. Should be able to engage him pretty neatly. Both shots are a horrible miss. Oh, got some rogue. Not bad. Darn it, guys! I need you to hit something. Oh yeah, Fire Fan is out of action points. God darn it. We're gonna make that guy pee himself. Brad, I'm gonna have to ask you to take a brave sacrifice here. But we have this guy fleeing. Which I guess is cool. Pummel him. Yeah, they're gonna be nasty. Bad beastie. Bad. Come on! Why do we never hit you? Bloody... Uh. Come on, Firefan, we need to... Oh, God, yeah. You're not able to do any murdering today. God damn it, archers, why are you so terrible? I would love to go for that one with uh, Roderick. I really would. 
I'm gonna have you strengthen with a shield wall. You're just gonna keep bashing that guy, honestly. He tried to retreat, and we get free kills. Good. Uh, your headwear is gone. Hang in there, Brad! Good. He is now fleeing as well. Good job, Firefan. Strategic maneuvering. Come on, finally! We hit something. You hit Firefan shield? Really? God darn it. I mean, I... Is it nighttime? I guess it might be nighttime. It might be morning. That would explain a whole lot, frankly. These guys are now all peeing themselves. Brad's able to get some lovely vengeance in. Even Firefan gets a jab. Yeah, let's not shoot our friends. If we can avoid it. Come on! Probably should have looked at the tooltips like, Yeah, they are in the middle of the night, you dum-dum. There we go. James goes level up, sweet. We have some minor injuries on you and Roderick. We get some unusually large wolf belts. Well, it may not have been an official battle. It'll still earn us a pretty penny. Let's go check out Lonberg. Oh, and we're gonna level up James, of course. Perks. Uh, your headwear is now gone. If we, like, pull that off... Roderick, you get an ancient household helm. You deserve it. James, click here to level you up. Uh, attack, definitely. Melee defense. Uh, you're gonna tank more. I like it. Perks. You're gonna be in the line of battle and you're gonna have a lot of hit points. Kinda like the idea of dodge, but then again I also like the idea of Colossus. Since I'm gonna be pumping a lot of hit points into you. 25% extra just seems like a great idea. It's a great thing to get. Hopefully, the fact that they have a herbalist grove here should mean that Medicine is a bit more on the cheap side here. Yes, it is. Thank the gods. We'll sell the pelts. We'll stock up on medicine. Even though we don't really have all that much. The tools here are expensive. The ammunition is as well. Really want a malicious spear, but I don't have money right now. gonna hire anyone. We're gonna go and do the fight then. It's probably gonna be a horrible thing and we're gonna lose everyone because of all the injuries we currently have. Not gonna lie, I might do some camping. Firefan did recover from one of his injuries, but the dislocated shoulder is going to hurt. Yeah, we need like three and six days to recover. That's not gonna help. Since we don't have a lot of funds to sit on. But anyway, we're going to be ending this episode here. And I would like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. The Eagles of Fortune are leveling up. We are getting better at this whole killing thing. Marginally. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And I'll catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one folks.